Okay, everybody. So, as per special request of Michalina, we are going to be attempting some coral reefs. Today I am joined by my husband, who loves diving, so he wanted to give it a go, drawing a coral reef. Now we were having a look on the internet and we found some really nice illustrations, not that, <laughs> of coral reefs. And we're going to be trying to do some of these basic shapes over here and just layering them up as many as we can get on a page in five minutes. So you can either use pencil first or you could go ahead and just use marker pens or pencils if you prefer. I have my marker pens that I always like to use over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and just use them straight away to save time, but use pencil first if you prefer. Okay, which one do you wanna have on the screen? You got one? Let's have a look. Oh, we need a timer. Set a timer on your phone, Samuel. We've got all the gadgets in use. I'm gonna put these over here. Let me know if you need to reach them. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Go. Then we begin. Mm. Okay. Mm. So I'm copying this one over here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to use this marker pen straight away and then I may add some water to them afterwards to make them a bit more um, sea like. So I'm going to do hopefully some larger ones in the foreground and then maybe a couple just tucking behind. Depends how we go. I can't see how much time I have left. It's okay, don't worry. We'll either succeed or we won't. How's it going, Samuel? Okay, so far. <laughs> Don't know if it looks much like a coral reef yet, though. I'm sure it does. Oh, like some alien fingers. <laughs> well, coral reef does look a bit like an alien kind of landscape, doesn't it? What else shall I add? I might do a, just sort of a larger shape coming behind here. Oh, that's looking cool. Nothing alien about that. So, I'm trying to add a whole bunch of different colours just to make it fun and interesting. I like to use a lot of bright colours. But you could just work in pencil if that's all you have time for, that's also fine. I don't know how much time we got. Oh, no. Two minutes left. I know, it goes quick, doesn't it? I've done nothing. It's quite terrifying. Ooh. Now... I haven't had time to do my shipwreck. I told you, you're not going to have time to do a shipwreck, baby. <laughs> it's five minutes. Uh, wait, uh, wait. Now, if you guys are really enjoying this, obviously, when you're at home, you don't have to stick with five minutes. You can spend as long as you like. It's just, we try and have a go in five minutes to make us think quick, work fish. quick, and come up with some really cool designs in the process. It's just a bit of a challenge, but... I often take a bit of extra time at the end to neaten them up. Uh, wait, uh, um, what can I add? So, I'm trying 
Ja, men det är då. Ja, ja. That's a good idea to get all of your colors ready first because five minutes really isn't long. A minute left? Are you kidding me right now? No. Nope. <sighs> okay. This is actually really fun, Nicolina. I wish I had longer to do this. This is a really cool suggestion. I might try and do one of these and take a little bit longer over it next time. It's very alien. Just going to get some kind of pebble type designs down here. Mm -hmm. Just to give a little bit of texture. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Wait, ah. I can't do orange again. Holy moly. Ah, color. <laughs> it's a pink shell. And shipwreck. <laughs> and quickly get a shipwreck in there. <laughs> and a treasure. <laughs> That's a very cool. I'm cheating. Timer. You're cheating. We're both cheating. Look, we're just trying to what we're doing. He's so ambitious. Sammy, we've got to stop. Done. Okay. <laughs> Quality of work. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Shipwreck. Oh. <laughs> and a fish. Oh. It's amazing. Give me five. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to grab some water and I'm just going to add water to this. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are now in overtime. But. We want to add a little bit of water. I'm going to add a little bit of a darker colour to this first because I think it's going to be a little bit washed out. I chose a really light orange before. My first time adding water to... Yep. So, orange. as I said on a previous video, but I'll say it again, you guys can use any water-based markers to achieve this effect. Now, these that I'm using are Caran d'Ache Fibralo markers. And I think they're some of the best markers out there, especially for adding water. But if you have any water-based markers, you can achieve this effect. They kind of melt when you add water to them. So you can either... Mine's not really melting. Not really melting. It's, you're a bit disadvantaged because of the paper that you've got. We ran out of this paper. What is that paper? This is watercolour paper. So... As you can see, it kind of it, it melts a lot better on here and spreads a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go out and buy some more, although I don't know where from. Should be current situation. Mm -hmm. So my water's not doing much. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I will. So that's the difference between watercolour paper oh, and watercolor regular paper. paper. Look, can you see how they're not really, it's not really doing very much. But when I'm using the same, I've got orange over here. Look how much colour I get off of that. Well, that is a perfect example as to why you need watercolour paper. So this is actually a really nice project, Michalina. I think I will try and do one of these again. Take my time over it. Oh, very cool shapes in a coral reef. So I'm not doing enough water that I completely lose my design, but I'm just doing enough to take a little bit of that ink, dilute it with water and just spread it around. Okay. Mine now has a shark. Nice one. Now I've got some sort of aqua on my brush here, so I'm just going to add some of this to the background as well. I can lift off some of the colour that I've already added to my coral reef or seaweed, whatever this is down here. 
and just let it melt into the background. And take a little bit off of there. I feel super bad that you have the rubbish paper now. <laughs> you were all like, I don't mind, just give me that one and then it didn't I don't work. think I would really use it for its full advantage. <laughs> It does go to show, though, what a difference that makes. I need to add more coral reef to my coral reef. As I've got the extra tire. Okay. So every time I'm using this deep aqua, I'm just pinching a little bit of that colour and sending it into the sea. Just to give a bit of depth, because I didn't have time to draw anything in the background, and it just looks a little bit empty otherwise. Okay. okay. Right, we're nearly there. Um, I think this one that I have here is very light, so it maybe needs a slightly a mm, bit of darker colour in it, otherwise it's going to get lost with the water. It's going to have a little Nemo fish. Lovely. So I'm pretty sure when my kids are up tomorrow morning, they're going to prefer Papa's one. I think. It's got a shipwreck in it. It's got a shipwreck, it's got sharks. Very got crazy. fish. Look at that mean shark over there. Buried treasure, it's got it all going on. Mine's just a little bit, I don't know. Not quite as exciting as that, is it? Bit more okay. arty though. Bit more arty. <laughs> okay, nearly there. And I really enjoy adding the colour to these markers, they just melt in such a nice way. Next time you do it, we get you the proper paper, baby. Okay. I'm just going to extend these leaves, leaves a little bit further out. I'm going to do some seaweed. darker blue to these. I think I should have used a darker colour to begin with. Okie doke. So you don't want to add so much water that you lose your design entirely. Just enough to make it melt a little bit. pebbles down here I'm just going to give a light wash so they blend slightly okay I think I'm pretty much finished for the time I've got don't want to cheat too much how's it coming along <laughs> did you have fun <laughs> yeah, I had fun <laughs> okay I'm going to leave it there.